Within your tuition, you are paying for a way to de-stress and improve your physical and mental wellness. And coming up, our FIU cheerleaders give us an inside look at their upcoming season. All this and more on FIU News. Good morning, FIU. Today is Thursday, June 14th, and I'm your host, Carolina Caputo. And I'm Rolando Alvarez. And first, we'll go to Fernanda Zarada, who has the inside scoop on the new Radcliffe Incubator on FIU's Biscayne Bay campus. The FIU CARDA has joined the Radcliffe Foundation to design a new incubator at Biscayne Bay campus. The idea came about to create an opportunity for students that will teach them about how to prepare a financial plan, a marketing plan, uh, look for financing, and at the end of the second semester there's actually a shark tank. So we bring members of the community in for the students to pitch their concepts to investors. We're here at the new FIU Innovation, the Radcliffe Incubator, where Cardiff students will be working on their new projects. So I made Bundle. Bundle is a product design company, but we're making uh, products for bicycles, accessories, and they're basically uh, mounting solutions for bicycles. In this case, what I have shown is the ES1. It's, uh, it's a mount that goes where the water bottle usually goes on the bicycle, and you put a Bluetooth speaker into it. So it's, it's a sort of way to travel with Bluetooth audio, and it's, it's high quality. You can count on it. It's not going to fall off. It's not going to break. And yeah, it's, it's, I made it for myself. I, it's something I wanted to have on my bike, so I have fun with it. I'm hoping everyone else does too. The Radcliffe Incubator is going to foster even greater creativity and, more importantly, products that can go to market. Products that, that are of need on one hand and that help to generate employment for people on the other. Mrs. Radcliffe is proud about her partnership with FIU. We just love it down here. I think that it was at the right time for us at the Radcliffe Foundation. It's unique to us. It fits a area that we have not been involved in before. I'm Fernanda Zarati with FIU News. Thank you, Fernanda. It's great to see that FIU is making strides to help improve their students' college experience. About college experiences, many students aren't aware of the massage options we have available on campus. Our reporter, Belen Leon, has more to the story. The massage therapy program offered services twice a week last semester, while today it is available four times a week with more than 32 daily spots to fill up. And it was my first time doing a massage and I really benefited because uh, it's like a stress reliever So in between my classes. So I'm definitely going to be doing this a lot more. The number of students to get the massage services has increased by 70% compared to last semester, just like the availability to get more appointments during the week. The services are paid through the health fee tuition, reason why students can use the program for free, while staff and faculty members are required to pay. We have reoccurring students who come in, who calls in and make their appointment week after week after week. Um, sometimes we have them for their entire uh, time that they're at FIU. I've been going here since my freshman year and I didn't know about the services up until probably like a week ago. I heard that they just recently went full time which is awesome because now I can just walk in make an appointment the same day and get the massage. Therapist Sherry Little gets at least 80 students a week making that about 320 students a month. During finals, numbers of attendees double up. I've been with FIU since the beginning of this program in 2003, and it started out as just a, a trial type of program with the massage. It was only a couple of hours a week, and over the years, it's, uh, it's just taken off. So they added four hours a week, six hours a week. Now there are two full-time massage therapists. The most popular service is the free 15-minute massage. There are also paid options that allow students to choose services depending on the massage type, time, and area of concentration. For the services to be free and it, for it to be offered to students, I think is awesome. Many students are not aware of the service, but once they learn about it from either their colleagues, friends, or by their own experience, they schedule appointments frequently. For FIU News, I'm Belen Leon. Thanks, Belen. I think I might have to make an appointment today. Yeah, Carolina, I think you might just have to make one for me, too. Now for your weather updates, here's Chief Meteorologist Judith Alseguir with your weather forecast for this week. Thanks, Rolando. And yes, today is going to be another humid day with a high of 86 degrees and a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms. So, Panthers, you might want to bring an umbrella just in case. 
for the weekend, we can expect the same pattern of weather, hot, humid, and stormy. So hopefully this won't put a damper on your weekend. But if you have to stay home, make sure you have a full pantry. Now we have reporter Daniela Santos on how Panthers can keep their pantries full. The food pantry, located at both Biscayne Bay and Modesto campus, is a free food service where FIU students can collect up to 10 pounds worth of free food each week. We spoke with Food Pantry Coordinator Ludovica Virgil to get more information on the Food Pantry's purpose. The purpose of the Food Pantry is to serve students in need um, for students who, after paying all of their tuition, their uh, housing, other bills, that they do not have enough money to buy food. This tasty resource is beneficial to all FIU students, including FIU junior Christopher Urrutia, who has been going to the Food Pantry for almost three months. He explains how he heard about the food pantry. A friend of mine actually like referred me to come here. Like he said, just just pass by, like, don't be nervous, just walk in. They don't really care, everybody's nice. The food pantry receives donations from other sources, including the Student Government Association. We spoke with President Jefferson Noel to hear more about their role. Because we're here to serve the students. We're here to serve them in the best possible way. And if putting food in their tummies is, a, is one way to serve them, um, then we'll do it. Student government donates yearly to the food pantry, whether it be Cheerios, canned goods, or even some tasty treats. For more information on donating or how the food pantry could help you, please call the numbers on your screen. From FIU News, I am Daniela Santos. Thankfully, it's summer and maybe we can relax a little, unlike most professional soccer players, because it's World Cup time. That's right, Chris. The World Cup is officially underway with Saudi Arabia taking on the host country of Russia in the national capital of Moscow. The tournament will run through the 15th of July. And FIU students can catch the action at Chili's in the Graham Center, at FIU's Modesto Medique campus, or in the Biscayne Bay campus game room. Also, it has been announced that the United States will be the host country for the 2026 World Cup. Hopefully, these eight years go by quickly. Make sure you keep up with all the action going on in Moscow this summer, but don't neglect your classes. As summer eight comes to an end, one thing that just started is the FIU cheerleader season. So let's take a look with our reporter, Alexa Roth. In preparation for the upcoming season, FIU cheer aims to compete and make a run for a national title. The Panthers have not won the NCAA College National Championships since the 1998-99 season. I do feel like all the athletes that are in our program, whether it be FIU or Top Gun, uh, we do a pretty good job at teaching prioritizing and time management. We really do encourage athletes to make timelines for themselves and be realistic about your commitments and what you can handle. Cheer was not part of FIU's program until 2013, and since then, Panther cheerleaders are looking forward to getting better each season. 10 out of 20 athletes on the FIU competitive cheerleading team are both Top Gun and FIU cheerleaders. Let's see how these students balance both teams and are preparing for this upcoming season. I'm really trying to focus on making sure that I'm making healthy choices with you know, what I'm eating, putting into my body. So at FIU we spend all summer focusing on training for the sidelines and the games and then come January we spend the next couple of months after that preparing our routine for competition in April. I have different coaches and different teammates that I have at FIU so I get a different environment of learning at Top Gun that I can also take and transfer to what I do at FIU. Normally I would have practice on the same days, so I would go from cheering for FIU for three hours to then driving here, have a 30 minute time slot to drive from FIU to Top Gun to then start practice as soon as I get to Top Gun. Make sure to look out for your Panther cheerleaders this fall. I'm Alexa Roth for FIU News. Well that's all we have for you today. From FIU News, I'm Carolina Caputo. And I'm Rolando Alvarez. Have a great day, Panthers.